it's going to be leg day, glute day, and ab day. So we're going to have a little bit of legs, some bum, and some tongue. I love it. Um, so I have a heavy set of weight, I have some water just in case, and I have a mat to go down to the floor. We are going to be working in all different um, positions, and the exciting part is we're going to have a little pattern. So stay with me on this. I think you'll have a good time. I think it kind of splits it up mentally. So what we're going to do for 30 seconds in one move, we're going to be doing full range singles. Then for the next 30 seconds, we're going to intensify and we're going to go down into the bottom of those ranges. Or maybe if we're on the floor, the top of those ranges. All right, then we're going to actually hold for 30 seconds. So that's going to be our pattern for every movement. So let's have a little warm up. And then we'll get started. And I'm happy that you're here with me. Let's take those arms. We're gonna start with that rotation. Pull those abs in, lift those chests up and out. So we have core, we have those glutes and legs. Let's see what we can do together. All right, take it overhead. And remember, anytime you need to rest, you just come up, you shake out those legs, maybe march it a little bit, and then get back in. All right, now give me hamstring curls right here. Kick those heels up to those glutes, activate the backs of those legs. And like I say, don't be afraid to turn on some music at home. Get a little bit of background noise for ya. And you can hear Lizzie walking in now. Four more, four, three, two, one. Go wide knees here. Those stretch through those inner thighs. Perfect. Power through. Give me eight more. Four more. Now let's take it into squat. So shift those hips back. That's right. So we hinge right away. Sit back. That way our knees aren't going to come forward. And you want to make sure, even if you shift your hips back, that your knees still don't bend first. So even if those hips are here, remember, hips are always first. Get that weight back in those heels. That lengthened spine. All right. Always breathing through. Give me four more. Three, two, one, and march it in here. Now I want you to mark March very vigorously. So, all of your power in your arms, with your thighs coming up. I can feel my abs. When I'm pushing my foot to the floor, I feel my glutes. Now take this wider. Now drop in lower. That's it, still trying to move those arms as strong as you can. Eight more, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Now you're gonna squat. And then we're gonna reach. Four more. All right, now hold those arms out. You're gonna squat, lift your left leg, come up. Give me that little circle here. Good. Inside, outside. Inside, outside. All right. Four. Preparing three and two and one. Drop down, come up, and march it in here. And we're going to take that left leg, send it out front, sit the hips back, reach that left arm out. Relax your shoulders, keep your spine long here. Let's get a quick hamstring stretch. I always like to start with this stretch. A lot of tension at the back of the legs can then make the back feel so tight. I'm just trying to get all that tension, let it go. And then hopefully you feel that your heart rates are elevated. You can hear that in your breathing, you can hear it in my breathing. Take it center, roll it up. Roll those shoulders. So you want to feel that your warm-ups 
are always a kind of a sign of what's to come. All right. All right, I'm going to start with my heavy weights. Feel free at any time to drop your weights if you're fatiguing during your um, whole minute and a half. Remember, it's 30, 30, 30. All right, so I'm going to start out full range. We're going to go both legs at the same time. So we're just going to take it into a simple squat right here. Just down and up. Full range singles. You're going to get it started now. Those weights are drawing down towards your ankles. And just like I said in warm up, hips shift back. And look at this, we're starting. We are beginning and we are gonna conquer today's workout. It's gonna go fast with this 30 second split. Now drop down, go halfway up, down and half, down and half. So notice that low range adds a lot of intensity. You're not recovering at the top of the range. <sighs> oh yes. Are we in for it? Yes, we are. <sighs> All right, now go to the bottom and just hold. So isometric training here, no movement. Chin in. This is where you focus on form, opening the knees out to those middle toes, checking your feet, making sure they're not forced forward. They have a slight turnout, pressures in your heels. If you feel strained, come up just slightly. You have 10 seconds left. Your first round is already done. Did that go fast? Come up, shake it out. How'd that feel? I hope you felt it like I did. Okay. Now we're gonna go single leg. So it's gonna be right leg back. So remember you land on your tippy toes, heel is up. We're gonna go full range singles, down, up. So that left leg's in front. And we got single leg challenge. Keeping your knee aligned with your front toe, aligned with your hip and shoulder. So make sure your toes aren't turned in at all. Chest is high. Try not to lean forward and keep that back heel elevated. All right, now go down and halfway up, down half. This is where the workload really gets involved here. Heavily involved. <laughs> and then remember, every move that we do, we build on that last move. So intensity just gets greater, greater. And then your mindset gets stronger and stronger. All right, now hold it. Back heel elevated, front heel down, shoulders back, abs in. Remember, you can lift higher if you feel strain. You have 15 seconds. Hands are relaxed on your weights. Five seconds. Three, two, and come up. Did you make it? Shake it out. Oh, oh, I think we're gonna like this workout. Yes, you're gonna heart it. You're gonna wanna repeat it. Drop down. You're not even finished with it yet. And you're loving it, right? Let's go. Especially when you feel that challenge. Don't shy away from it. <sighs> Try to be really accepting of challenge. Picture your legs toning and shaping, strengthening, <sighs> making your body fitter and stronger. Drop and hold, or halfway, down halfway, down halfway. This is that load you're creating. Yes, you are. Feel the inner quad, outer glutes. Take it to the bottom, stop, hold. Right there. Pressure, heel, 
Squeeze that glute. Squeeze it. Make that front leg work. 15 seconds. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, are we going to make it up top? Three, two, and come up. Shake out those legs. Shake it out, shake it out. Now I want you to drop your weights for a quick moment. And grab some water. Get a good shake. So that was three rounds. A minute and a half each. Yeah. Shake and release. Okay. Now, it's going to be wide stance. So you're going to grab those weights. We're going to bring them up. Rack position. Wide stance. Knees and toes are turned out. Get ready to drop. Knees to the corners. Here we go. Down. Up. Look at how my knees don't come forward. My heels right underneath my knees. So I'm just making sure that you're not here with your knees out over your toes. They point to your toes. That's for sure. Full range. We're squeezing those glutes. All right. Bottom half. Down. Half. Feel your abs here. Tighten. Does it feel good to have both legs again? <laughs> yes, it does. Get ready. Last one coming up. Now drop and hold. 30 seconds. Weights up. Elbows forward. Chest high. Hips are under. Abs in. Make sure the knees haven't fallen in. Keep them open. Pressure in the heel. You have 10 seconds. Wow. Five, four, three, two, and come up. Walk it in here. Now you're going to drop one weight. Okay. Now, we're going to go to single leg challenge. So I'm going to have you start with your right leg forward. So the weight in the right hand. Now, if you think of railroad track, you're going to step back and then we're going to go in with the back leg inside the railroad track right here. So if you think of two parallel lines, you're going to come in. We're going to go full range right here. It's curtsy lunge, knees and toes forward. Here we go. Single leg. Here we go. Now you're going to feel a balance challenge, right? Pressure into your heel. Down, up. Now look at that knee. Make sure it's not coming forward. Back foot stays elevated. Back knee bends. So if you're coming a little forward, it might mean that that left leg needs to come back a little longer. All right, down halfway up, down. Half. Hello, bottom. Hello, intensity. <laughs> come on. Down, half. Working through. Feel the pressure in your heel. Woohoo! Yes, indeed. Single leg. Feel the inner quad, outer glute. Now go down to the bottom. Hold it. Hold it. It's a hold up. You are in charge. Squeezing that glute. Think about it. Tighten it. Don't give up. 15 seconds. Remember, resting is not giving up. Resting means you're going to get back in, right? All right. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and come up. Oh, what is happening? Other side. 
Shake it out. <sighs> wow. I like it. Come on back. Cross it in. Drop, lift. So notice I'm not too far crossed over. I'm trying to keep that knee aligned. <sighs> Center facing, just like your shoulders and hips. <sighs> down, all the way up, down, all the way up. I'm trying to get there. <sighs> Squeezing, breathing, <sighs> accomplishing. Down, halfway up. We're stabilizing, whoa, aren't we? <laughs> right there, trying to stabilize, I should say for me. Come on, drop lift. <sighs> My floors are a little slipperier. These tennis shoes don't have much grippy on it. So I just feel like they're sliding a little bit. Down halfway, are you ready? Down hold. Is this your favorite one right here? You feel it all, don't you? You've built up to it. If we started with this, it wouldn't feel like this. We've built up to it and then now we're holding. You have 15 seconds. You can do this. <sighs> ah, you got it. You got it. Five, four, three, two, and come up. Ooh, yes. Drop that weight, grab some water. Okay. All righty. Now we're gonna do standing. As we go to standing, we're gonna pick up just one weight. It's gonna go on top of that right shoulder. Yeah. Let's do it. So pick up that weight. I'm gonna hold it here. The weight's optional. You can always drop it down. Here, if you fatigue, left leg full range, out in. Now, pay attention to shoulders. So we're not gonna go to that right side. And lift anywhere from leg to leg to outside. Okay, so you don't have to try to lift so high that you're doing that. So lift until you can manage that posture. <sighs> Remember, you don't have to lift as high. Now you're gonna go up, halfway down. Up, halfway down. And there it is. So now we're at the top of the range. Remember I mentioned we do bottom and then top. So here we are, yes. I feel obliques on this. Yep. So remember that core portion. And we've done legs and we've done a lot of glutes. Now hold it. Now take that right arm and go up as an option as you're holding. Okay. Yes. Hold. You can always drop the arm. You're at 15 seconds. Keep your right knee that you're that that leg you're standing on, keep it soft. It might want to lock, don't let it. Toes are forward. Three, two, and bring it in. Change arms, just march. <sighs> okay, so this weight is gonna come back up. Chest high, right leg, send it out. Now that foot can come down each time and you can let it drop, or you can lift without touching, keeping the toes forward, ankle leading out. Now, don't you feel this side already? Yep, it was holding you up. Now, the other side's getting that same challenge now. <sighs> Exhale at your lift. <sighs> <sighs> now, this one, you go up halfway down, up half, top half. Up half. I know it's harder. We're trying to get into that intensity, staying there, pushing through it. If you lose your balance, come back down, just reset. Oh, 
All right, two. This one stays, arm comes up, hold. If you need that leg a little lower, lower it down. Focus on getting through that 30 seconds. You're already halfway through it. You're already halfway through it. Less than 15. Yep, right here. Five, four, three, two, and bring it in. What do you think? I feel some hips. The hips don't lie. All right, grab your mats. We're gonna come on down to the floor. All right, first thing we're gonna do is work some legs while being in plank. So it's still gonna be the same 30, 30, 30, okay? All right, so I want you to come down onto your elbows. And I wanna note that you can always have one leg down. So you're gonna have both elbows down. You're gonna lift up that left leg. Okay, so that right knee is down. Or you can be in plank and do it from here. All right, so knee down. We're gonna lift that leg, lower that leg right here. Are you ready? Set, here we go, lift lower, lift, lower. All right, now you're gonna come up and you're gonna pulse up, 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 top, top. Glued hamstring, oh yes, tight and strong, three, two, now try to hold it, 15 seconds. Oh, remember that right knee can be down. Oh, put that knee down if you need it. Here, 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 four, three, two, legs down, knees down, stretch back. Okay, we have the other leg. We're gonna come forward. It's gonna be other leg, you're gonna drop down. Here we go, lift, lower. Remember that left knee can be on the floor. Not lifting very high, but feeling that glute as soon as the foot leaves the floor. Now up and pulse, up, up. Don't be afraid to put the foot down and rest if you need to. Okay. Three, two, now hold it, hold it, woo. Core work, leg work, four, three, two, oh, almost didn't make it. And knees down and come back. So I hope you put your knee down if you needed it. I know you felt it, whether you had those knees down or not. Both, your, both positions, very, very effective. All right, now, same order of business in all fours. Okay, this time, we're actually gonna be doing your whole full minute and a half. So you're gonna extend that left leg back. You're gonna lift full range, retract your shoulders, Pull the abs in. Now think of glutes when you lift. Here we go. Up, down, up, down. <sighs> Exhale at that lift. <sighs> up, down. <sighs> Get that exhale out at the top. <sighs> Feel your core work. <sighs> Elbows pointing towards your hips. Now you're gonna go up halfway down, top half. Right there, up halfway down, up half. Big squeeze, prepare for it, ready? Up, down. <sighs> 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 
stay strong. I feel those hamstrings, those glutes. I even feel some inner thigh. Now, you're just gonna hold it. Hold it. Think of your leg getting longer. Big squeeze. You have 15 seconds. Right here, tighten, tighten, tighten. Squeeze and hold. Really squeeze those glutes, come on. Tighten them. <sighs> Somebody dropped a quarter on your glutes, it would bounce off. Am I right? Bring it in. Release back. Shift to that left side. All right, we have the other side to go. Let's bring it up. Let's come forward. All right, retract the shoulders. Right leg. Here we go, up, down. Now I have my foot flexed, my heel pushing out all that length through my heel. Trying to be very square with my hands down into the floor, not leaning out to one side. So since that right leg is lifting, I have a lot of pressure in that right hand. Keeping that hip and knee in alignment here. All right, hold it. You're going up, bottom to that mid, back up to the top, just not going to the bottom, right? Got those top halves. And for every lift, re-engage, tightening. That contraction, just getting greater and greater. Now, hold, lengthen, engage, feel, breathe. Fifteen seconds. Look at that. We're going to be on our backs. We're going to be in bridge. You're going to have your heavy weights once again. Three, two. One, bring it in. So glutes and hamstrings, really feeling it there. Shift those hips out. So core being challenged on that too. Now you're gonna come into bridge. So grab those heavies. You're gonna put them on those thighs right here. You're gonna roll down, feet down. And we're gonna lift those hips. We're gonna go from the bottom up, here we go, full range. Now, immediately, you should feel hamstrings. Now, feel your feet being right underneath your knees. Pressure to the heels, right there. Top and strong. Work that intensity. Work those levels. Now this one goes up, halfway down, top half. Up, half. So there's no release. Right when it's about to let go, you're squeezing and going back up, up. <laughs> I'm glad you're sticking with me. Just call it managing. Managing that intensity. Wanting, now up high, small pulse, up, up. Breath out, breath in. You have 15 seconds. Now just hold at the top, just hold it. Right here, hold it, that's it, three. Two, and drop. You're gonna let those weights just come to your side. You're gonna take those hands behind your heads. We're gonna go full range. We're gonna come all the way up, all the way down, right here. Crunch up, slowly down. Up, and slowly down. Getting some core work in now. Isolated. I know we've been working it throughout so far, but our concentration here, 
tucking those hips under, rounding that upper back, chin in slightly. I always like to look at my legs as I'm coming up and coming down, not looking at the ceiling. Now you're gonna go up, halfway down, up, halfway down. <sighs> Try to stop yourself from collapsing to that floor like we did before. <sighs> that part of the range is done. Yes, it is. <sighs> Making sure your hands don't push on the head. <sighs> All right. And now up and we hold. And we hold. Breath out. You're more than halfway. Working that 30. Holding, squeezing, trying to stay elevated. Four, three, two, one, and drop. Back to bridge, single leg. Grab one heavy. Place it onto your right, your left thigh. Now bring that right leg in and just cross that ankle right on top of that left leg. All right, are you ready? We have full range. Now it's gonna be single leg challenge. So you're definitely gonna feel it and we have that weight there. You're gonna keep it there. Ready for full range, three, two, here we go. Up and down. So I did that set of abdominals in between so that both your legs we're rested and ready to go as we got started. Because this left leg would have been feeding right off of that last bridge, right? And then that right leg would have been getting rest. So this way we kind of have it a little more even. All right. Now you're going to go up to the top and halfway down. Up and half. Up. Focus on that up. When you get up there, get that big squeeze. Don't let it go too fast. Hold it. Halfway down. Hold it. Now with this single leg, don't you feel those abdominals? I feel my right oblique. <sighs> You're challenged. Now hold it at the top. Keep it there. Right there. <sighs> now for a bonus. Extend your right leg straight out. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, yes. Hold it. Hold it for four, three, two, one. Bring it in. How was that bonus? Oh, so good. Okay. The other leg. Take that weight on the right. Cross the left over. Arm can be down for balance. Full range, we go up, down. Remember that, hold at the top. I always like to think of maybe a hand on a sponge. You're coming up, really get all the water out. Engaging and squeezing. So you gotta take a second to kind of really bring it out, right? That extra time at the top really big benefits in the long run. Now, halfway down, up, halfway, up. I feel a lot of hamstring on these. Hope you do too. You're sticking with it. One 30 seconds at a time, right? All right, up, stop, and stay. And you have your 15 seconds that's coming for that option for that leg extended. It was quite challenging, wasn't it? Are you ready for it? Don't be afraid of it. Stand it out there, it's 15 seconds. You can do it. Hold that leg strong. Hold those hips high. Five seconds, five, four, three, two, one. You wanted me to count faster, didn't you? 
All right, drop that weight. Down. Bring those legs in. Arms behind those legs. <sighs> now just rock side to side real quick. Just release here. <sighs> all right. Come to center. You're going to help yourselves up. Now we're going to roll all the way down. We're going to roll all the way up. So we're going to come down and up and down. Arms come over and up. Down, over, in, up. Do that full range. Keeping those backs rounded as you come up, rounded as you come back. Last one going all the way down. Now you're going to drop back, come slightly up, drop back, slightly up. Find that challenge. Don't come too far forward. That's it. Super tight. Super strong. Right here. Now you're going to hold. Let's extend the arms. Holding, rounding. Breathing. Are we shaking? No, option, arms out. What? You can come 45 as well. You can go back to forward. Five seconds. Shaking. Three, two, one, and come up here. That was good. All right. Release. You're gonna come over onto your sides. Face me. All right. So we're gonna go into side plank. So we're gonna go full range, top half, and hold. So you do bottom leg bent, top leg straight like this, and you can go down and up. Option for both legs, scissoring the feet, elbow tucked under the shoulder. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. All right, try to keep that arm elevated. Now, if you fatigue, that bottom knee comes down. Now, go halfway down, back to the top. Halfway down, back to the top. So, straight legs or that bent leg. Up high. Find that challenge in it. Deep within. Now up and hold. Bottom knee right here. I still feel it. Okay? Are you breathing? Keep that arm up. Trying to not let that chest come forward. 10 seconds. So challenging. Three, two, one one drop you're gonna come up to your knees here all right wow 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 take it up now let that right shoulder fall and just let that arm reach let that release happen all right one more side it's going to get you to your finish. This is going to do it. And release. Now roll that shoulder. Perfect, perfect. Now you're going to have that opposite shoulder 
Now underneath you, so this one's gonna be elevated, so you might feel it, you can always put the hand on the hip if needed. Okay, other side, you have 10 seconds. We go full range, bottom knee down, or both legs. Here we go, drop the hip, lift. Bring that arm in if you feel that it's too far out. And this is gonna do it. So you have 15 more seconds in this first 30. And then just a minute left. So that's all. Think of what you've already done. That's already behind you and ahead of you. Then you go up halfway down. It's only one minute left now. Top half, right here. 15 seconds, so you have less than a minute, right? Keep breathing, it's so important. Not hold your breath. Now up and hold, 30 final seconds. Man, oh man, oh man. Whoa, yeah. Bottom knee. I'm showing you because it feels good. <laughs> but don't be afraid to do it, okay? 15 seconds. Oh, fight, fight, fight. Lengthen, 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 10 seconds. Wow, I think I'm gonna feel these tomorrow. Five, four, three, two, drop down. Come up to those knees again, just like we did before. Congratulations, you did it. Reach that arm, feel that length. I'm so happy we did it together. Let's go the other side again. Squeeze your glutes. Now feel that shoulder dangle. We're going to do the other side one more time. And there's Luna. I had to be greeted. Did you have to make a, an appearance? Why, hello. Do you know I was almost done? All right, come on down. Roll your shoulders. And then take your hands behind your hips here. Chest out, drop the shoulders down. Now I'm gonna have you come down onto your glutes. Look at your mat. Put your right leg, lower leg on the front edge. It's got a 90 degree angle from hip knee to ankle. And then the same thing with that left leg, now that Luna's blocking. Okay, so you can see my leg. We're over here. <laughs> and then you're gonna come forward and bring that rib cage over that right thigh. And then you can see your arms are here, but then let that upper body drop down. Arms are there for balance. Chin's in, tops the head's down. And with each breath, let that upper body get heavier. You're gonna come over onto your right elbow. Elbow's gonna drop down straight out from the hip. You're gonna lift up that left leg. It's ready for quad stretch right here. Lift away from the floor. Pull that thigh back. Feels good. And you're gonna lengthen out that left leg. You're gonna grab a hold of the ankle, just gentle. Gentle pull and then reach that right arm out. Oh, how good does that feel? Remember that cool down, warm down, final stretch is as important as your warm up. Otherwise your body just gets so tight and you end up having injuries. All right, coming forward and relaxing down. I think this takes a lot of patience to do this, but you just have to get in that mindset of 
treating yourself to a few extra moments. And coming onto that left elbow, if you put in all that effort during the, the intensity portion of that workload, you want to always, always finish it off like this. Opening through that hip, so the shoulder pull back. You're lifting away from the floor, so the hip flexor for the quads. Nice, nice, nice. And reach that leg out. Coming up, grabbing the ankle, reaching. And then feel that arm trying to get longer. And feel that hamstring on that right leg. Feel the hip here on that left side. That feels great. That was a powerful minute and a half we did per exercise. Coming up to those knees, open those arms. Then you're gonna drop, left arm circle, right arm circle. And then go ahead, come to standing, one foot forward. Help yourselves up, shake it out. Please share this workout with somebody. Tell somebody about it. I would appreciate that, trying to build my subscription base. So I would love it if you could share it. Maybe have a neighbor come over and do it with you next time. Remember, you can take it outside in the morning, um, take it out to a park. Maybe just grab your mats and weights and head out to a park or do something, something fun. And anyway, I hope you have a great day. Give me a like, give me a share, and make sure that you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button so that we can see each other again, okay? All right, take care, and I hope you have a wonderful day.